step be silent and be still before him. Father, we give you the glory and honor in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Can somebody say amen? Amen. The reason why I believe is to worship this big God. He's the only one who protects. He's the only one who cares for us. The reason why I believe is to worship Him. That is why it's very good to go to His presence and worship. Amen. Hallelujah. We have three prayer topics before we receive the servants of the Most High this evening. Amen. And the three topics of prayers will focus principally on the ministration of yesterday. The servant of the Lord said, The spirit of Pharaoh does three principal things, coupled with the nine things enumerated here. Number one, the spirit of delay or delay of prophecy. Delay of prophecy. You are a product of prophecy. Nevertheless, the prophecy has been delayed by the spirit of Pharaoh. But this evening, compare with the anointing of yesterday, and that which the Lord has broken for today, there will be a great manifestation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, it frustrates the spirit of helpers. How many times Moses went to see Pharaoh? Yet he was frustrated. There are many people on your way to help you. But they are being frustrated. Look at the Bible. In the, in the book of Thessalonians, first Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm talking on 17, 18. Here the Bible says, Paul said, Many times, again and again, I have been willing to come see you. But Satan stopped me. That was Paul speaking after the death of Christ. He said, But Satan stopped me. He was willing to go help the church, to go help some people. Anyone that has been stopping you by virtue of this resurrection complaint,
Amen. Everywhere you have been delayed, by virtue of this program, I command you out. I command you out. I command you out.
church. The spirit of Pharaoh keeps people in bondage. <laughs> Spirit of Pharaoh keep people in bondage. I don't know who is in bondage. You walk like an elephant. You eat like a grass. You stay, you spend your time, you study. But it cannot be equated to your strength and energy. Can you lift up your right hand? I repeat, you say every form of bondage, every form of bondage around me. Around me, in my family, in my family, around my life, around my life. As I pray right now, as I pray right now. I lose myself from bondage. I lose myself. I lose myself from bondage. I lose myself. I have a success. I have a success. I have a victory. I have a victory. I am a mighty person.
it's exactly five o'clock. Hallelujah. We want to receive the oracle of the Lord. Amen. But before we get to do that, I have an honorable guest. I want, I want us to salute him. Hallelujah. Amen. Yesterday I spoke about one giant from Limbe. Amen. And this afternoon he stormed the land. And is right in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, with great appreciation, with great honor, happy to celebrate Reverend Eta If I look at things with my eyes, I know them. Hallelujah. Yeah, so all the statistics of the nation, I have them in my head because that is what I do. Amen. So he's a man with the fastest growing ministry in Cameroon. Amen. You are made in somebody kitchen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is a man with the highest growing one in the country. Amen. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Amen. Hallelujah. So right away, we want to go into a serious flight. Amen. Amen. The man of God is loaded and God has anointed him dangerously for you. Amen. I like what one man of my papa used to say. He says that anointing is only here on earth. We have to demonstrate the full capacity of it. Because when Jesus will come, you won't have the time again to demonstrate an anointing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If you want to sing that singing is now, yes. do your best. Because I doubt in heaven nobody will call you to come and sing. For heaven is anointed with mighty angels. They are already playing the musical notes. And if you tune yourself to the name of the spirit, you can hear them. Even right here on earth. Hallelujah. Do it now. Yes. Don't reserve anything. I don't know. Are you top of your energy? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. Do it now. Give yourself to God now. Function now. Hallelujah. So a man of God is about to deposit a kind of glory that somebody has never seen before. I know God has anointed him, and for one reason, for you. And for me, and for this church, can somebody say amen? amen. So, ladies and gentlemen, with your hands put together, we we'll receive to this prophet, to this man of God. Oh, the prophet of God, prophet, father, I appreciate all of you for being here tonight because by his grace, he accepted me to be here. I thought somebody say amen. amen. And he has put somebody in his book to visit tonight. Amen. Amen. And I believe that person is you today. Amen. Can somebody shout a louder amen? Amen. amen. Let you shout a louder amen. 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 Let your amen be louder than your neighbor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to take this opportunity to tell Mama of the house and Mama, thank you for accepting me in your house. Amen. Oh. Take this opportunity to tell, the, to tell the Papa of the house, Doctor, tell you for uh, thank you for accepting me in their house. Amen. Uh, I'm not the best preacher. I'm not. But grace have just decided that this period I should be here today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. With all I can see, men of God here in the realm of spirit. If I give them this mic now, they can preach more better than I do. So God has decided 
by his mercy and by his grace that I should be here today. And I will not abuse the privilege, I will not misuse the privilege in Jesus name. Amen. And after this program, the glory will be given back to Jesus. Amen. Can somebody say louder, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. First of all, the last thing I want to tell the Apostle, the Reverend, all the way from Limbe, that we are highly open our heart to welcome you in Bermuda. You are welcome. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody shout a believing amen? Amen. I'm honored to be in this presence, all the men of God, there in the ground. God will bless you for coming. Yeah. The amen is cool. Yeah. I love a song. I used to sing it every day in my church. If you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. No. This musician, it's like you two are not born again. <laughs> this chorus that. When you see me dance, I dance like a winner, man. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you, Daddy. I'm grateful. Thank you. Exodus chapter 9, verse 1. Exodus chapter 3. We are reading from verse 7 and verse 14. We started something yesterday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This one is not a crusade that I should anyhow. Listen. There are authors I go and I preach me anyhow and I go me. And they will still call me back to come and preach me anyhow. But there are certain authors I don't do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Because my father told me how truth is very destructive. When you go, it is better you preach one message or program and you give the people a balanced diet. And by the grace of God today, we will be rounding off with favorite issue. And tomorrow we are entering the resurrection part of it. Amen. And by the time we enter that part, my God, my God, I think I've never prepared a message like that part. Never. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for this morning today? Hallelujah. Okay, so Exodus chapter 9, verse 1. Pastor Wilfred, where are you? Out to you. Exodus chapter 3, from verse 7. We are Because of time, we are reading verse 7 alone and go to verse 14. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. 
and have heard the cry by reason of the touch master. Please, if it is your Bible on the line, I have heard the cry. If it is your Bible, you know we do not borrow the Bible before coming to church. Underline it. Uh, oh, I'm for, I forgot that. So we are in hundred generation where people Bible in their Bible is inside their phone. No problem. Okay. Verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. Yes. And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And He said, Thus that said unto the children of Israel, I have heard sin. I have heard sin me unto you. I have had sent me unto you. And God said, Moreover, unto Moses. Stop then, read only verse 14. Exodus chapter 9, verse 1. Exodus chapter 9, verse 1. Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus says the Lord, God of the Hebrews, let my people go, that they might serve me. Father, tonight do that which no man can do. Amen. I pray that you visit somebody. I pray you visit this church. And I know when you step your leg into a place, that place will never remain the same. Yes. That day I pray for visitation of your presence and the visitation of angels. May they step their leg into this place. Yes. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Let the people of God shout to believe it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel I have to preach now. Okay. So from yesterday we began to see some spirit that follows the spirit of Pharaoh. Am I correct? And I will discuss some critical issue, and uh, you can bear witness with me that it is the reality of life. And I said, as I said, the different kinds of spirit and the different different kinds of principalities, and from the Bible history right up to our generation, from Genesis right up to Revelation, I came to discover analytically that the spirit of Pharaoh is the most weak and stronger spirit. If I can take you back into the archives of time, when Pharaoh showed up, God called a man, Moses. He said, Moses, go and handle that business. When any man shows up as a wicked king, God will call a man. He said, go and handle the business. That certain king or that certain spirit that rose up against certain people, God sent with angels. Let me tell the God, we are not the same as angels. We are powerful than angels. Never you make the mistake. Man is powerful than an angel. After the God said, the next person you see is man, not the angels. Not the angels. Don't make the mistake. Don't make that mistake. Angels are not powerful. The Bible says they are our servants. They are sent to minister to us who are heir of salvation, which means they are our servants. They are not powerful like us. like us because even on the day of judgment the man that is going to defeat the devil put him in the bottomless pit is an angel the bible says i see an angel holding the king of the bottomless pit and carry satan and put inside and lock it angels are not powerful like us let me lay some foundation. When you read your Bible, the Bible says, when Daniel chapter 9, I believe, the Bible says, when Daniel was praying, what happened? The Bible says, an angel of the Lord, Gabriel, carried the answer when he was coming. The Bible says, the prince of Pesha had Gabriel of Parmenides 21 days. And God was looking for Michael, Gabriel. He said, Gabriel, I have an assignment to send you. 
The Bible says in 30 for 21 days, when he discovered that it was not Gabriel, Michael, I mean, Gabriel was not coming. He said, Michael, go and check. The Bible says when Michael came down, he discovered Gabriel has been here for 21 days. The Bible says Michael began to contend with the devil. He did not send a man, he sent an angel. But when it came to the time of Pharaoh, it did not send an angel. Because why? The power of Pharaoh was greater than the power of all the angels. Follow me. I want to lay a foundation this evening. Follow me. Listen to me. The devil is not as strong as we, we think he is. He's strategized. That's why Paul said, we are not ignorant of his devices. Let him gain advantage over us. Human beings are powerful than the devil. Human beings are powerful than angels. Follow me. So what happened? So Michael fought the devil. I mean the prince of Persia. And Gabriel came and gave Daniel the answer. Gabriel said, I'm going to continue the fight. So Gabriel went and continued the fight that Michael was fighting. I don't know how long it took, but all I know, the Bible said he came and he replied the answer. In the time of Pharaoh, follow me, Acts chapter number 12, the Bible says Pharaoh discovered that the church became, the church was gaining more influence. The church was doing what? It was getting more influence than him. The Bible says he looked at the church. He saw James. He caught James, killed him by the sword. When he discovered that the Jews were happy, that you have done a great thing, what did he do? He said, let me also attack Peter. The Bible says he took Peter and he discovered it was a time of the unliving bread. It was a period close to the period of Easter. Let us say it was a season of Easter. What did he do? He took Peter and put inside the prison. He said, after Easter, I will kill you also. The Bible said that was the time the church went and began to pray. When John the Baptist was in prison, the church did not pray. Yeah. When Stephen was torn to priest, when Stephen was torn, the church did not pray. When James was being killed by the sword, the church did not pray. When Jairus in the kingdom are dying anyhow, is the responsibility of the church. Why are Jairus in the kingdom dying anyhow? It is because the church are not taking the responsibility. When Peter entered the prison, the Bible says the church gathered and began to pray. They said, this one must not die. This one must not die. The Bible said, they be bright and bright and pray. And the Bible said, there was an emergency meeting in heaven. And God said, what is going on? They said, Peter is in prison. What? Why? They said, we don't know. They said, okay, sir. The angel of the Lord came down into prison. The Bible said, struck Peter. He said, Peter, get up. Peter got up. Peter, where you are? Should Peter walk his shoe? He said, Peter, it is time now for us to move. The Bible said when they reach the gate, they open the gate. They reach the second gate, they open the second gate. Then when they reach to the third gate, the Bible says the, the gate opened to his own accord. I prophesy anything that has been blocking people, that when you reach there, it will be open. He knocked the door. 
The Bible said there was a girl who was in the midst of prayer and he heard the voice of Peter. There are people that need to listen to your voice and identify your voice. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? For sure. There was a root that heard the voice and ran to the church. Stop prayer. Do you know that certain prayer those who have stopped since? Because when we have not recognized the voice of God, we are still there praying. Yeah, yeah. And God is the one you're praying. I have answered you since. Open the door. Let the answer come in. Yeah. God is still close and the answer is outside. Oh, we God. are still praying while the prayer has been answered. Oh, yeah. Are you understanding me? Yeah. I want to preach. I want to preach. So what happened? Rhoda said, hey, Peter. They said you should be mad. No. How can people that are praying and abusing somebody again? Hey. There's a problem with us. Many of our prayer be answered. It is just required for us to open the door. Oh my God. Wherever you have been rejected before, go back to that place. Yeah. Knock at the door. Yeah. If the same will reject you, tell them I have accepted myself. Yeah. To somebody. You oh said the thing and it comes to pass. When Elohim has not said it, our God decrees it and it comes to pass. Who is that man born of a woman that would say your doors cannot be opened? Are you understanding me this evening? Ruta, sit down, so, so sorry. Ruta, Jim. He said it is Peter. You know what they told you? Your man, you must be insane. He said, no, it is Peter. You need people in your life that can reward, that can identify your voice in time of help, in time of crisis. Yeah. They need people in your life that can identify your voice. Do you know there are so many voices on earth? There are so many times you walk on the streets, somebody should recognize and somebody could see that this person needs one million and call your half one million for you take. You need those kind of voices in your life. For sure. You need those kind of people that can interpret your working. They know that brother needs 400,000 they give. You need those kind of people. Yeah. You have been praying for a long time. You just need to open the door. They said, no, it's not Peter. Maybe it's his angel. That's the problem. We are mistaking angels for men. I don't know. So, what happened? The Bible says, Peter came out from the prison. The next verse, the next chapter. The Bible says, Peter was in the house. Why the angels was on his way going to heaven? Then he heard the noise. Men began to hear Herod. Oh, long live Herod. Oh, you are the God on earth. Ah? Huh? The angel said, What? As automatically we speak without delay no favor. The angel kept down palm and struck him. Instantly, one came from nowhere. Act him up, he became skeleton. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Mm. That same angel is still alive. They are not dead. They were not defeated by the devil. Yeah. The angel is still in heaven. For he sure. will do it tonight. Amen. I said he will do it tonight. Amen. I said he will do it tonight. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. So all these people, the battles were fought. By men, for sure. Who brought down the walls of Jericho? It was a voice and the assistant of spiritual being that brought down the voice of Jericho. For the sure. walls of Jericho. Can I talk to somebody? Yes. Yeah. But when it came to the time of Pharaoh, it was different. As I studied my Bible, analytically, I studied spiritually, I came to discover Pharaoh's spirit was different. Mm -hmm. Among all the characters of the Bible, Pharaoh's spirit was different. Yeah. Pharaoh's spirit was different. Mm -hmm. God performed all manner of miracles. But yet, the more he performed it, the more the heart of Pharaoh's had him. Oh, God. And God said, This man does not know where I am. Mm -hmm. For I have backed up plans in the midst of plans. Yeah. I was the one who introduced an alphabetical order. If my plan ain't fair, just know that I see 25 letters still in many. Mm -hmm. I will use it. Yeah. So Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh was dancing. He said, Ah, do you know what Pharaoh said to Peter, to Moses? He said, Who is that God that I should align? Who has been mocking at your life? Who says things you started going to church? God cannot help you. Mm -hmm. They will set the hand of God upon your life. Amen. Who, 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 who is that man? Who, 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 who? Why was he born? 
Maybe he, he was carrying under the mistakes of a woman. Then the God I serve is a timeless God, excellent God. The man that was not wanted to see, but yet he rules the universe. He is the king of kings. He can make a decree at any time and he stands. That's the God I serve. Yes. That man. Pharaoh said, who is that God? And he said, Moses, don't bother. I know what to do to him. When I will visit him, he will know that I am the God who has asked men not to kill. And him, I said, I can kill and nobody can take me to God. Yes. I told men to say, I shall not kill, but I can kill and nobody can take me to God. Moses, I'm going to visit him. Don't bother. Tonight, if I be a servant of God and the nineteen of men of God in this house, there shall be a visitation tonight. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? There shall be what? 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 Every a child of God. There's one that has certain things God hates to hear his children to cry. Take your seat. When any time God sees the people cry, it eats his mind. It pains him. It mess at his personality. And he cannot see that. The Bible says, when the children of Israel were crying, it itches the ear of God. And said, who is this man called Pharaoh? I have made a decree that after 400, why do you want to keep them for another year? God said, okay, I have come down, but I'm going to send you Moses. The Bible said, Moses began to go from chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 12. And God said, ah, I don't drag with men because we are not in the battleground. I cannot fight with the mom meta. I created him, I can kill him at any time. So what God do you go? God said, Pharaoh, come, Moses, come. For I have one backup plan. Tonight we are going to execute it. Moses, come! Go! In chapter 9, or chapter 9, chapter 10. Chapter 10 and 11. He said, Go and tell the children of Israel, let them borrow their vessels. Yes. Borrow goes as you can borrow. Uh-huh. But yet he is the same God that said, Thou shalt not borrow. Uh-huh. Thank God, we can break protocols for your sake. Uh-huh. Are you going to listen to me? Brother, he can break protocols for your sake. Yeah. He said, Borrow, but in his last day, shall not borrow. For sure. He keeps a law and he goes against the law, but yet nobody can hold him. You cannot sue him. That is the what? He said, tell them to borrow. The Bible says, they began to borrow their verses. And they have much time. They began to borrow verses. Borrow goals. Borrow jewels. One man wrote him. He said, I like this, your goal. Please, can you borrow me? Without them even hesitating. <laughs> take, take, take. He wrote to them, I like this, your banker. Please, can you put that's how they collected all the gold? Uh, yeah, 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 they yeah, collected yeah. all the jewelries. Yeah, God came to Moses and Moses, go and tell them in the night that this my backup plan will never fail because yeah. I'm about to visit them. Yeah, he said, Moses, come. Moses came. He said, tell them. He said, let every family, chapter 12, every family take a young bull or a young sheep. Let them take a young bulldog or a young sheep. All of them said, if your family is too small, let them borrow, let them join to another house and take it. He said, when you kill the bulldog, take the blood. This is where I'm coming now. This is where I'm coming now. When you kill the bulldog, take the blood, rub it at the doorpost because I'm going to send an angel of death. Yeah, my God. I'm going to send the angel of death. Mm -hmm. When the angel of death tonight, he shall visit not all the Egyptians, he shall visit their firstborn. Yeah. What are the firstborns of Egypt? Firstborns of Egypt are regarded more than the kings. Mm -hmm. More than the kings of Egypt. Firstborns. God said, I'm going to cause them pain by taking the firstborns. And they will paint them tonight. When I take the firstborn, they will let you go. He yeah. said, put the, the, the door, the blood on your doorpost. But when I come, but yet he said, the spirit of death. He said, but when I come, something needs to die for the spirit of death to raise up again. Uh-huh. The sheep died. Never you forget, Jesus was that sheep. All the sheep that came was a prototype of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus to manifest on earth. There is not my God. My God. Hey. What are we talking about? Please. He said, 
king of Lord, put it at the doorpost. I'm going to visit them. He said, when I see the blood, I'll fly over. But if I don't see the blood, I will visit the house. So the blood was written on the doorpost. That night, the angel of the Lord was flying, was looking where there is no blood. And when he said the heart that there's no blood, he entered and killed the firstborn. Kill the firstborn of the country. Kill all the firstborns. There was great cry in Egypt. All the firstborn died. Then they never had any cry over there. What was happening? Somebody said by the blood. By the Somebody said by the blood. By the it was the blood that set the child of Israel free. Something died for another thing to make a life. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. So what makes certain people to be powerful? It determines the blood that speaks for them. Yes. Are you understanding me? Yes. Bible says there is a blood that speaks better things than the blood of Booth. Yes. There's a blood that speaks better things than the blood of Ebe. There's yes. a blood that speaks better things. That is the blood of Jesus. When he speaks for your life, therefore we follow you. When he speaks for your life, let them show we follow you. Yes. When he speaks for your life, freedom we follow the blood yes. of Jesus. It was the blood that God uses to deliver the throne of Israel for 430 years of bondage. The blood. Something died for to let the people go. Who died? It was the prototype of Jesus. Then I make it to another time. We just celebrated Easter a few months ago. Am I correct? Am I correct? All of us celebrated Easter. That was the time Jesus died. He died before the foundations of the earth. He did not die 2,000 years ago. He died before the foundation of the earth. So he came to replay what he has already happened in the spirit. So how did the throne of Israelite go free? It was when the blood, it was when the blood, the blood, somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout blood. Somebody said blood. 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 There is only one weapon, weapon that can deliver humanity totally, completely free. It is by the blood of Jesus Christ. There's no other means. Angels cannot do it. That certain crisis, people can never be redeemed for it until the blood speaks. Until there's the blood. Somebody said blood. Somebody said blood. The blood of Jesus is about to speak for you tonight. I said the blood of Jesus is about to speak for you tonight. Can I tell you something? One of the most strength of Pharaoh was the marine kingdom. Papa said something yesterday. Marine kingdom. So one day, God told Moses, said, Moses, now get this, get this. Before God could deliver the throne of Israel out of Egypt, what did he do? He has to weaken the powers of Pharaoh. Yeah. He weakens the powers of Pharaoh. He said, Moses, come out. He said, go very early in the morning. Stand by the riverside. When Pharaoh will be coming to collect his power. In the river, yeah. tell him, let my people go. If yeah. he refused, drop the water, and the water shall become blood. Yeah. It was blood that defeated Pharaoh. Oh, it was blood. It was not the blood. Pharaoh was the kept the throne of Israel. Yeah. Somebody shall blow. Yeah. Somebody shall blow. Yeah. I can't hear shall blow. Yeah. Do you know when Moses, when God called Moses, when God called Moses, he spoke to Moses in the wilderness. Moses said, Moses, when you go to your father's in law's house, gather your things and get out. Go and set my people free. Moses went and was so stubborn. Moses went and was so stubborn. The Bible says, and God was looking for Moses. Came and met him in a tent and was about killing Moses. The wife said, no, it cannot happen. The wife took his first son, cut his penis and blood flows out and threw it before Moses. They said, Moses, you're a bloody man. That's when God saw the blood and ran back. It was the blood that saved the life of Moses. God wanted to kill him for delay to send his people. For delay to go to Egypt. For sure. That certain helpers, they have no reason. They have no alternative. By the reason of my voice, they must locate you and help you. Yes. If you think I'm joking here, God said, Moses, I sent you. I don't want to go. I can still kill you. It was the wife who saved him. 
God, God his own son manhood and poured the blood. When God saw the blood, he ran behind. He said, I cannot kill. When blood is when blood is available, when blood speaks for a man, nothing can fight the man. Amen. You think I'm lying? When blood speaks for you, if you are alive today, it's because the blood of Jesus went on the cross of Calvary. Yes, sir. Do you know what your forefather this Exodus chapter 12? Your father some of the tea slaves buried human beings alive. He said, I will visit the iniquity of the father unto the third and the fourth generation. But you are here alive. Why? There's a blood that is speaking for your life. Yes. The blood. The blood. Yes. The blood. Somebody shout the blood. The blood. Nothing is powerful like the blood. No weapon I've ever seen is powerful like the blood. Yeah. When you invoke the blood, Male Gadaya, the angel of death and life so up. Mm -hmm. When you invoke the blood, nothing stops the angels. They are oh. unstoppable. Yeah. They cannot be bribed, neither can they be stopped by yeah. the power of the blood. Mm -hmm. Am I talking to somebody? For sure. When man fell, Jerry, when man fell, nothing could redeem man back to God. It was only the blood and bulls and gold. So there's a demarcation between man and God. Only certain priests can enter into the holies of holies. Man only have access to the holies of holies, all the holies, not to the holies of holies. They cannot enter. Why? The blood did not speak for them. So when Jesus, what did Jesus do? When he died, he carried his blood, went into the holies of holies. God has no alternative than to rain the veil that was dividing the holiest of holies yeah. and the holy. He put his hand like this and tore it into pieces. Why? The blood was available to speak right up to man. The Bible says he is the mediator of the new covenant. Okay. For the blood speaks better things than the blood of heaven. He is the mediator. To today, the blood is still speaking. Yeah. Amen. Ah, yeah. Pharaoh's spirit has no alternative. Because why? To mind, the blood will speak for you. Amen. I said the blood will speak for you. Amen. I said the blood will speak for you. Amen. Can I tell you something? When the blood speaks, number one thing he does, he invokes the power of mercy. Mm. Oh God. Oh God. Mercy. When the blood speaks, he invokes the power of mercy. Mercy. Because when God looks at the blood, he does not look at you again. He sees the power. Yeah. Who is mercy? Jesus Christ is mercy. Mm -hmm. He said, I will show mercy upon whom I want to show mercy. For sure. Ah, uh, yeah. I will. I want to run up. I will pray that the man of God will also pray for you. Come, three people fast. Three people. I need three people. Fast. Three. Okay. Three. Huh? Okay. Look at your friend Oxford. Look at your friend Oxford. That's when we we're, were in primary school. When we're in primary school, right? You look at your friend Oxford when you're in line. Follow me. Hello? Hi. And when the blood speaks, what happened? He invokes mercy. He did what? Invoke mercy. He invoked what? Mercy. So when the blood appears, what follow? Mercy also follow. Follow me. This is us here. The Bible says. Ephesians chapter number 6. That you can bear me with the breastplate of righteousness. Yeah. The belt of truth. The shield, the shield, the shield of faith. The sword of the spirit. The standard of what? The gospel of what? Peace. Now, where is this man going? All the devices speak for front. The shield of faith. The breastplate of truth. Do you have breast behind your back? Do you have breast? So your breast is what? The front. Yeah. Everything God speak about all the protective device was to protect us from the front. But he do not give any device to protect us from behind. Are you? Never in the Bible for the devil. For God has given us a device that protects us from that. Most of our problem is our past errors. Oh. Where you are today, is that the mistake of your father or your own mistake? Yeah. Your past errors. And why did they hold, they hold you from behind? Uh, oh, yes. Am I talking yeah. to you today? 
Most of the problem we are have today is the error. The reason of the problem of Cameroon is because of the error of our fathers. Do you hear what Solomon said? It's in John in Solomon. Uh, uh, he said, I kept a few verses. He said, I came under the sun. I saw an arrow that proceeded from the ruler. Yes. Things are working on less. Yes. Seven are riding on horses. Yes. It's an arrow that needs to be corrected. Yes. Where is the arrow coming from? From the ruler. Your forefathers made some errors until today it's affecting your life. Wherever you go, you have to say your foundation, your foundation. Why? It is coming from behind. What is coming from your front is difficult to pull you down. What is coming from behind is yes. easier to pull you down. For sure. Can I preach? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm just respecting myself because God generally is in the house. You don't scatter any hour when you see your seniors. That's not that's not how I preach today. Am I correct? Yes. When you when young men of God, when you meet your seniors, don't preach anyhow. So, I read my Bible. Don't laugh, it's very serious. It's an ethics in the scripture. It's very ethical in the ethic of ministers. That's why a lot of men of God, young men of God, have failed in our generation. When you enter your own father's house, even if you are prophesying as well, preach and give him the mic, let him prophesy. Amen. If he's a prophet, I have directed. So, <laughs> yes, yeah, follow me. Then he says something. He said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in grief. He restores my soul. Beside what? You can continue the, the story. But he said, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. But this scripture that the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, it said, This blessing shall come upon you, overtake what will. Well, in a field of driving, as Papa used to drive, when he wants to overtake a car, he does not overtake the car from front. He takes he overtakes the car from behind yeah. and come to the left side or the right side, then he cannot go in front. So blessings always come from our past. Blessings always come from behind us. Yeah. The reason we cannot see many blessings are because the disguise from behind. Yeah. When we are driving in line, some blessings are coming behind us. Oh, yeah. He said, this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you. Yeah. Follow me. That he said, he said, goodness and mercy shall follow me. This is me. Huh? This is mercy. This is goodness. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. The only protective divine that God has given to the born of the Christian uh, is the power of mercy. Yes. Yes. It's, it's mercy that protects our back. Uh, it protects us from the errors of our father. Yes. He said, I will show mercy upon you. I want to show mercy. Mercy does not appear when the blood is not available. Uh, I don't want to waste most of them. He said, Goodness and mercy shall follow me. The amount of goodness that follows a man determines the amount of mercy that follows him. The amount of mercy behind your back determines the goodness that follows you. So you don't attract goodness in your life. You don't attract deliverance when mercy is not available. Yes. Uh -huh. Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Somebody fast with that. We have to the Hebrew chapter 4. Why you are searching? Listen to me. This is who you are, am I correct? Yeah. This is who? Mercy. This is goodness. How much of the goodness you have determines how much of the mercy behind your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Am I correct? For sure. So what is it that the throne of Israel out of the hand of God? It was the power of the presence of the blood yeah. and the visibility of mercy. Mm -hmm. Visibility of mercy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's therefore. Yes. Let's therefore come boldly. He said, let therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace. Unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy. So what grant you access into the throne of grace? Mercy. mercy. And find grace to help. In find grace to help. In time of need. In time of need. My God, what 
So what this will have is the presence of mercy. Somebody have a mercy. Mercy. I tell you, some mercy. Take your seat. Some mercy. Mercy. Some mercy. Mercy. I tell you, some mercy. Mercy. When the blast piece is this mercy. Yeah. I'm speaking mercy in your life. Yes. Wherever you are disqualified, mercy will speak for you. Amen. Your amen is too cold. The orders your father has, the Bible says, look up. And the Bible says, in the book of Ezekiel, he said, it shall no longer be a prophet that says your forefathers had great and the twenty became sour. As on today, mercy will speak for you. Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Mercy will speak for you. Yes. I, I, let me do some cantation. Let me hear me. Maybe they took your name to an evil altar and they pronounced your name, project your name. And they say you cannot make it again. I am standing on that altar again, which is the altar of God, which yeah. is bigger than all altars. Uh-huh. And I am making a pronouncement that you shall be blessed for life. Yeah. Give me that thing. Maybe give me the stick. Maybe they sit down or they stood up and they were knocking some conga and they were chanting in condition. Me to I am in the sanctuary of the sanctuary. Yeah. Survive. 
When spirit is drinking, they go mad or they die. Spirit don't touch the blood. Only you must touch the blood. The blood will speak for you. I said the blood will speak for you. Take yourself five minutes. When God discovered that Pharaoh was keeping his people in bondage, was making his own prophecy not to come to pass, causing the people that he had sent to help them not to be helped. He said, Pharaoh, you don't know me. Me. I have my son. The Bible said there was a king who wanted to go out of battle, King Jehoshaphat and other three kings. They were going to fight a particular king. The Bible said they went to a prophet. I want to show you how the blood is stronger than prophecy. They went to a prophet. The prophet said, bring me a musician like our sister. This young lady sang and the presence of God came down. A major prophet, Elisha, not a minor one like me, a major man. He began to prophesy. You say you shall not see the Lord too, but in the morning the valley shall be filled. The Bible said, when they got up, they saw the valley's feet, their horses ran, and they raised up an offering. They went for battle. The Bible said they began fighting. They began fighting. And the king discovered he had only 300 men remaining. He looked at his first son. He said, Can what I do? That my kingdom. He took his first son, placed on the wall of an altar. He killed the first son. When blood was flowing, God saw the blood. God turned and began to fight his own people. The certain prophecy or the certain blood that are stronger than prophecy. Am I talking to someone? And the prophecy of the man of God, the man of God said, Surely you shall overcome, surely you shall defeat them. Why did they not succeed? It was because a blood was placed on the altar. There is power in the blood. Never you talk with the blood. That's why a king used 300 men and defeated four nations. The king of Moabite. Four nations. No wonder the reconstitutions are stronger than the church because we have not yet understood the mystery behind the blood. We have not understood what Christ has done for us on the cross of Calvary. That's why they are still chanting the incantation. Me, you talk to me. You shall not live the next day. Who born you? you me. You. Reconstitution. You talk to me. You threaten me. Ah, I will sign your death warrant now. Why are you born of a woman? He that has slept in an ocean can never be afraid of an erosion. If you are slept in an ocean, you can never be afraid of erosion. Who be erosion compared to an ocean? Do you know what I was saying in my eyes? When I was in primary school class 6, that was the first time I knew that I have a call. My father sent me to go to the forest to a bush to carry cocoa. We have this three dogs, they are very good hunting dogs. Don't blame me that I'm a hunter. So I called this three dogs, so I was going. On Sunday day, my father was doing that so that he would disturb me not to go to church. To a six primary school. I left with those dogs around nine o'clock in the morning. When I arrived the bush, I knew that if I go to the house now, I will not go to the church. So what do I do? I said, okay, I will carry the cocoa and I will keep somewhere. That I will enter the forest, do my hunting. When I must have finished, I will come back and carry. Just to disturb myself, I carry my dogs to enter the forest as tender as I was. Enter the forest, we began to do our hunting. Out of a sudden, all my dogs disappeared. I was not seeing anyone. Even the one that I used to call my bodyguard, it was very small. These are kind of the call bingo. Very small like this, but very wide. You don't, you don't dare threaten the dog. If he's coming, you pick stone, he comes the more. You stone the dog and you don't want, he's coming the more. I call bingo, bingo, uh, I call Jack Jack was not. Jack, where have you gone to? I call the dogs all over that small forest, I could not hear them. They were not backing nothing. So I went to one small stream. As I was about to carry water to drink. As I carry water, I drank. As I was standing up, 
Here comes some dwarf before me. So short people. Their legs, this short, their, their front leg was looking behind. If they're going this way, you think they're going to be this way. They are short. This, this are, they are short dwarf. Short like me. They have beards, men and women. We shoot all over. And one of them said, this is him, let's kill him. The other time, we wanted to kill the father, but you stop him. He told to other people, stop it. Your father stop it, so this is him, let's just kill him. They were speaking in the language of my grandmother, my father's grandmother. So one of them said, we don't touch this one because that man up has assignment for him. <laughs> Woo, man up has assignment for him. <laughs> so they had to discuss, 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 discuss on this. They said, we cannot touch him, that man up. I was speechless. There are spirit and there are spirit. One of the most wicked spirit is the forest spirit. The dual spirit. I did not hear. I saw it to my eyes. That encounter took place more than 30 minutes. My senses were seized. Everything was, I could not shout. But I was in Jamins. They were with gloves and hammers. To finish my life. The other one said, we cannot touch him. Because if we touch him, all our families are gone. They moved from here to out there. I just sat on top of the leaves. Wow. As if it is sand that they have got that throw. That sand disappeared. For me, to, the, the, the big man, as he was going, he said, Turn. I turned. He said, That's the road. The same road I came to that place. It was the same road they showed me. They said, Go. I do not move up to 10 meters. I had my dog to were backing just down one small valley. That's a valley I have passed over and over. When I arrived there and discovered that I caught one big deer, and you can call it until a very mighty, it was big, heavier than my size at that time. I'm too fat now. I was like one. I could not carry a hard to tie rope. I will drag it. Where I reach, I will tire, I will rest. When I arrived at the house, I told my father, I said, Tell me your truth. Tell me now. Have you ever been arrested or carried by this spirit? He said, yes. I said, Daddy, why did you not tell me? He said, something very old when I was still young. I said, those same people met me in the forest. Do you know what I've seen? That a small reconstruction that is reading books, written by somebody, threatening me. You will die before your time. You will die. You will die. You don't dress in threatening people. Yes. You don't. Yes. From two, from two, from two, from three. I went down to Manu River to do fishing. It's my hobby. I grew up in the village. I'm not at your bottom. I'm a Bakoro Road. I mean, I grew up in the village. I did hunting. I did fishing. So I went down to Manu River. There's a, there's a beach that called out the bone beach when you go to my house. I started doing fishing from that place. All the fish I will catch, they will only leave the net. What is happening? But when I arrived at a place and you could see the Jumbo Beach, it was very, it's a long, it's an open place, stones everywhere. So I was catching my net. From a distance, six one light was flashing the river. This was about nine to ten in the night. I was the only one. Unusual, it don't happen like that. That people must come to the river. It, it don't happen like that. You must meet fisher people, fishermen. So that night I was the only one. I have got three till that there were small, small things like this. I was angry in my spirit. I said, who profit? So now, six it was a place we know. We pass them, we sweep them all the time. This was where the last one was. About, about six meters, there was something inside the river. I was sick only the head because light was flashing. What is that still? What has happened that still has come to this thing? On reaching the place, I just catch my net on just so small. A place that cannot reach me. When I cast the net, I tried to drag the net. The net was heavy. We stone or stick don't catch net. I entered. Only for me to discover it was a mighty heavy fish. I carried the fish, put it inside the bag. Since it was heavy, I kept it. I was doing my casting of net, I was going. Before I arrived in the place, it was like from here to that stone. I caught the, the very same fish. The very same. 
So when I tell I discover it was a human being, but he was not facing me, he was backing me. From the head, when he flashed on, you will see it completely white. Hair like a woman. Who are you? you will, did you come to bed? You will not talk. I'm talking to you, I'm not asking who are you. You will not talk. And all of a sudden I discovered he was feeling back and was coming. Then I asked, do you know who I am? If I owe you, meet me in our house and collect your money. To the best of my knowledge, I don't owe anybody. But I carry it because I came to feed my family. You cannot touch me. I carry the fish. And when I arrived to home, it's where they should pack both. Some crazy them to take a new cross on the other side. That's what I told them. I took a new and I crossed the other side. I was still doing my casting on them. And I arrived directly opposite. I caught the very same fish. The very same fish. The very same fish. not different. The size was not the same. When I carried the fish outside, bro, that was where I knew the difference between Barcelona match and the uh, Chelsea match. I heard a sound, a white sound. Wah! Wah! Instantly, I saw light inside the river coming towards my direction. That was when I knew my own has come. I'm about to end up. I said, the blood of Jesus, I cannot die in this river. I cannot die. I cannot die. Now, how do I have to cross the other side? I was inside the bush, and the other side is town. Even I still nobody will hear me. Music is playing. Even those two home boys, they cannot hear me. I said, me too, I must cross. I entered the boat. I was paddling. The more I paddled, the more water is hitting me down. Bro, river became full instantly. When I had to, I cross, I don't know. You ask what I had, did you cry? I don't know. And I crossed. When I reached there, I said, where's my legs? Run. I flat. I left the house. I was somebody to, today they know me that when I say A, it is A. I am not frightened by anything. I told my mother, I told my aunt that sisters in the house. I said, this is what has happened. All my brothers said, therefore don't mind. I said, but we must go back and carry that fish. I suffer for it, we must go back. We carry mighty torch. We came, before we came, water was already eaten one. One fish, because I dragged all of the food up. Water was already eaten one to carry. We carry the fish, we came to the house. What have you seen? What have I not seen? That a male, I have seen spirit, I have seen human beings. But by the blood of Jesus, I am still alive. I know where I'm going to. He is back in the Lord. I have a high priest who died not still no slumber. He cannot die. He cannot put him out. He remains forever. Amen. What are we talking about? Me, a friend of a human being. I told my wife. The day you hear the back of a human being, not that I'm not humble, I am one. Not that I cannot know, but don't threaten my life as a witch nor a wizard. I will send you to the other side. I have seen things, brother. Are you listening to me? There's a blow. Are you hearing me? There's a blow. Sister, there is a blow. Sister, there is a blow. Your foundational power cannot stop the blood. Yes. Your altars of your father's house cannot stop the blood. Yes. After this today, you will go back to your compound. Oh, yes. Maybe you have been running away from your compound. You will go back there. When you enter the compound, all the dogs will run away. Yes. Because why? A higher masquerade has come. Yes. A bigger oracle has come. Yes. You cannot carry the king and the lion of the tribe of truth. And you are running away from a man mortal. Never. It cannot happen. It is a disgrace of high order for you to run from a man man. It is a disgrace. You know what is the blood of Jesus? The blood of God. I don't know call it the blood of Jesus. I call it the blood of God. Because Jesus died, the blood of God will never die. He is the essence of things. The blood. 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 When you cut the blood in the midst of battle, 
Oh, the battle take that in shape. Stand on your feet, let's pray. Something died for the throne of Israel to be delivered. And the blood was spilled. Are you listening to me? I beseech you to take from them by the mercy of God that you may present your body as a living sacrifice. Some of us here, when I was coming, said 90% of the prayer be answered. That's what God told me inside the car. Amen. The blood, the blood, you just need. Do you know what it means to have men of God in this program? We are more than five of us men of God in this program. And you think you can go back with that problem? Who bumped up? Who bumped Satan? By your blood, you crouch by his blood. He is not crying. He there's a difference between kill and crouch. Have you ever crushed cockroach before? <laughs> the same blood will speak for you, somebody. It's not far from here. I want us to raise the prayer point. I'm hearing a strange thing. I'm hearing a strange name. I'm hearing a strange name. Listen, listen, listen. I know we are in the southwest, but I'm hearing a strange name. Like something like Otan. I know it's a Bayangi name, but I don't know why I'm hearing a strange name. Otan. 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 Sir, what pen do you have? Red pen. What pen do you use to write? Red pen. Red pen. What is the color of your car? If you have one. Ox plus red. Ox plus red. Ox plus red. Yes, sir. I like you, eh? Thank you, man. I like you. I look at the shape, it's the same like the one of your daddy. Yes, yes. Uh, that's right. Okay. Do you know why I want us to pray? No. Can man of God will help us pray for you? Okay. Can I I don't know why I'm still talking to you. I talked to you yesterday. I'm still talking to you today again. There was uh, uh a conf- let me say like a conflict. There was a meeting some years ago in your family, and you disagree with what they wanted to do. Exactly. Huh? Yes. You disagree with what they wanted to do, but because of that, why are you removing? Ah, because of what you have stand for. Huh? Yes. God will preserve your life. Amen. Ah, Papa, answer him in word. Amen, amen. I'm standing before the car. I see the red color, right? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Yes, man of God. The shape like the one of your father. Exactly. Okay, I look at the number plate. I see eight. I see zero. That's it. I see six. That's it. I see sours. That's my car number. Is that a car number? That's it. That's it. Because of this meeting. It cannot happen in this church. It cannot happen. Seven days from today, whosoever has fired that arrow, we are taking the arrow back to Southwest. Amen. Is, is this your number? Is it your number plate? Eh? It is exactly. That's your number plate. That's right. They said you will not have inheritance. No. Nick down, let man of God pray for you. Nick down before him. Go, meet him. Can we pray? Can we pray? Can we 
pray? Can we pray? I'm going to pray for four people. And the man of God will pray for us. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Madam, where is your husband? You. Yes, are you married? Where is your husband? Eh? I see a lot of battle in the house. Huh? There's a lot of battle. You have been persevering. Persevering. If not, you are back out. Huh? It's true. Tell him I said you should listen to God. He was once poisoned. He was once poisoned, and I want to still poison him again. Are you listening to me? The battle is because you came to this program, I don't know you. And because you entered the house of refuge, your family shall be suffered. Ask you, where is your bright bride? Where is your bright bride? Let him go and pay because I look at your head. I'm not seeing that I'm asking where is your bright bride? If I not take you and kick. Are you praying now? Are you praying now? For him. That's what I call it. Look at me. Look at me. Listen. It is not that he does not want to see your people. It's not because of money. No. Because at times money will enter his hand. And there will be no use. Tell him I said your people. They may not openly say this. They are angry. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Because even right now when things happen in your family, he, he, he restricts you from going to do certain things. That's wickedness. But tell him. I'm saying. This is a door God wants to open for him. God wants to open door for him. Eh? God wants to open door for him. And it can only be done when he's something that has said. Because it's a normal phenomenon among his own brothers. They take people's children. There's one of his brothers who has, who has been with a woman for three times. Three, three different women. Who be with this one and leave. Be with this one and leave. Be with this one and leave. Yes. Listen. Secondly, or thirdly, tell him there is this number that has been calling him, threatening him to support, to support, to support. This number has been calling him to threaten him. At times he will cease, at times he will come back, at times he will cease, at times he will come back. Tell him and say, let him find refuge in God. Amen. What do you have to do this way? This way. What do you have to do this way? Huh? What, what do you have to do this road? You stay this way. Okay, now let me pray for you. I want to, I want to pray for you, okay? As I'm going to prophesy for four, if you add five, no problem. I may not call names today, I may not know it to order. Sir, what is the man? That is your name, does any of your name has I? That begins I something? Because I see Aru. Aru, in one of the names, I'm seeing another eye, another name. Talk to me, sir. Okay, enter this compound, okay? Are you going to that compound? No. It's your compound, your family compound. Yes. Which means you are free. Which means you are free. Okay. Then listen to me. When you enter your family compound, behind there are some few metals you see a valley. Yes, sir. Eh? yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see a valley like a stream is passing. Yes, sir. Now, in that stream, when you follow the stream, you go and sweep up a covert somewhere. When you follow the stream, you go up. You see like a covert. That's what I'm seeing the Lord of Spirit. When you follow the stream, you go up. You see a covert. Spiritually, now, this is it. When you come back to your compound, I see a big toilet. 
I say pit toilet. That certain time, this pit toilet get up and just smell anyhow. Yes, it is because there's a python in the realm of spirit that comes to rest them in that place and it pollutes the place. Now, this is it. One, two, three. I see almost seven ladies that used to cry of abdominal problem. Anytime they go to, maybe they eat themselves or they use their part, they throw it. I want to tell you, stop throwing your part there. God may think about another means because anytime it happens like that, because there was a woman who lived in this compound and looked for a child for seven years, nothing happened. Yes, sir. It's true. Get this. Get this. Get this. Okay. You are the daughter of this church. Are you a daughter of this church? You are just invited. Ah, why am I talking to strangers? When you go home, eh? I'm going to give you a prophetic order. Not me, because you cannot see me. By saw, come to daddy. He will pray for you. Give an offering. I don't do that. I am from a poor background. We don't do that. But me, I'm telling you by prophetical instruction and by prophetical injunction. Give an offering anything. He's not, he does not need some money. He's a rich man. Bless an offering. When you take this out, God, one, two, three. I see two rooms in this toilet. Yes, sir. Three rooms. Yes, one is a bathroom, yes, the other is a toilet. Yes, sir. Drop it in the two and see what will happen the next day. Amen. Can we pray? Can we pray some prayer? Can we pray? Oh, I don't like your cry. I don't like your way you talk. Can we? Hey! See, hear me? Nothing invokes the presence of God like the cry of his children. Yeah. Do you hear what Jesus said? He said, six of the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of heaven, yeah. suffered so violence. violence. All that the violence take you by force. If you are not violent in this world, you uh -huh. shall end up as vegetable in the pot of the devil. Mm. What attracts God to come so quick and full force when he sees his children in agony? Do you know Hannah? Mm. The Bible says Hannah got married to Bin uh, to Ekana. Ekana married another Bin Hannah. I don't know why Nana is in this family. Bin Hannah was troubling Hannah one day. Hannah said, No, I must change the course of this thing. She went into Shiloh that year and refused to eat. The Bible said, Day in, day out, she will cry. One day she made up her mind. Said it was it is on the altar that we cry. The Bible says she entered that place and she cried out. Her voice ceased. Her voice was not coming out, but her lips were shaking. That was the first time in the history of the prophetic where a prophet looks at the man and confused prophecy. He looks at the woman and says, why are you drunk? But the woman was not drunk. If it is not time, well, I said this prophet is not the true prophet. How can you look at the normal woman and say you are drunk? The woman said, listen, that certain spiritual technicalities that confuse the eyes of prophets. The woman looked at the man of God and said, oh, man of God, prophet, point of correction, I am not drunk. I am only bitter in my heart. A tears was everywhere. And the prophet said, and the woman, the, the prophet said, he said, okay, now I prophesy same time next year. Same time, the same year. She came to Shiloh to dedicate her boy child. It was in the altar of groaning. It was in the altar of crying. It was on the altar of pain. That is, we are different. We carry different problems. Are you listening to me? Yes, if you are too gentle, you cannot settle. That's what the man said. Yes. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yes, I am radical. There was one time I made up my mind. I said, God. There's a realm of the spirit I wanted to enter. I said, God, me and you for this room for nine hours. I'm not leaving. Either I die or you die. I collected nine hours prayer one day. Went to another week. One week, nine hours prayer. When I came out, God opened my eyes up. This is not how I was prophesying. It was in the altar of groaning. 
God, I will not let you go until you do something in my life in the altar of prayer. When I see when we're praying, and people are just here. Your yeah, father Paolo. This is not your father Paolo. You hear what Jesus says? My house shall be called the house of prayer. The church of Jesus Christ is the church of prayer. Lift up your right hand. Look at your voice. Look at your voice. Do coco coco. Did you drink coke this evening? Mother, why am I not seeing her husband? I'm not seeing her before she died. There was a, she was a pain she had with your husband. There was a pain she had with your husband. With your husband, sir, put your hand on your head. No, you the fair guy. Fair boy is coming upon you. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? I'm talking to that fair guy. Fair boy is coming upon you. Yeah, student. Huh? God will send you sponsors. Let me tell you something. There's no shortcut to ministry. Eh? There's only the only solution fast pre study. Fast pre study. Eh? God will use you. Amen. Now I want to pray for you. You have been receiving some guy in Cameroon. Amen. Don't make the mistake to set you in Cameroon, you die. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Are you listening to me? Yes, when you finish, walk as you can walk, but not in the back of your mind. God is sending you to Canada. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Places to go to, but don't make your mistake. If you search in Cameroon, you'll be frustrated in life. God will send you to Canada. Amen. And when God sent you there, don't follow the lifestyle there. Because if you follow the lifestyle there, you'll also be misused. Check your background, see where you are coming from. It's an altar life of battle, battle, battle. So don't make that mistake. I'm telling you, I invite you as a brother. When you finish your school, whenever you want to work in Cameroon, fine. Prepare yourself, prepare yourself. But this more of outreach ministry, outreach. Outreach, and God will bless you. God will send you help. Are you listening to me? Put your hand on your head, my brother. Yes, you. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the count of seven, Lord, Baptize me with the things they have been looking for. They are anointing the grace, whatever he has been looking for. Maybe success is anything. Lord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. May your life never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. If you came here sick, maybe you have a problem with your stomach. Put your hand there. This I said I'm going to pray for you today, right? What did I say yesterday to you? Stand there, please, without have much time. That one to pray for us. What did I say yesterday, God? That my to time you? of celebration has come. Your time of celebration has come. Do you believe that? Yes. Are you married? You are not my time of celebration has come. Amen. Ah, but I see a relationship. I'm seeing a man beside you. I'm yes. seeing a man beside you. Yes, my God. Where is he? 
Is he? Is he the man? Yes. Is that the man? Yes. Ipo should come front. <laughs> Sir, are you willing to settle with that? Huh? God will open your finances, okay? Are you listening to me? I've seen two children. You have two children? Okay, I've seen two. Everybody has a bath. Make up your mind. You have difficulty in childbearing. That, that's not the case. That, that will not be a problem. Eh? Go with handle it. That will not be a problem. Go with handle it. When you are serious with it. Hmm? Hmm? Because your message is to have problems. Sit and come. Sit and come. Just looking at me. I pray for you. Stretch your hand towards me. All of you. I see. I see God about blessing somebody with money. I see God about blessing somebody with money. If your number starts to 7817, I see God about blessing somebody with money. 7817. I see money coming to this number. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Your amen is to come. I said, Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you suffering from Mami Water Spirit or Banjo Spirit, Queen of the God Spirit? As I make a decree, let this stop in the name of Jesus. Amen.